This is Tweed Bank in Gala Shields. And just over here is what's commonly known as Tweed Bank Pond. Let's go and take a look. This is it, a rather icy Tweed Bank Pond. <laughs> so if you enjoy throwing bakery products into lakes for waterfowl to consume, then this is the place for you. Now you're probably thinking, wait a minute, Tweed Bank Pond was only constructed in 1978 or something like that. There's no real history there. But you'd be wrong. You don't need to look too far back in the history books or old maps to see that this place was not always known as Tweed Bank Pond. It was known as Gun Now Lock. Gun Now Lock. And that's when it gets interesting because this area near Gala Shields since ancient times has been known as Gun Now. But why? There is no documented evidence of this for obvious reasons, but on this site have been finds of loads of ammunition, ancient medieval ammunition. And the theory is that this site here, Gun Now, was a medieval or ancient 14th, 15th century gun factory or ammunition factory. Now like I say, there is no documented evidence of this, but you know, why would you document where your main gun and ammunition factory was? It just doesn't happen these days either. But all these finds and the name Gun Now really do make a good cause for this place being a major Scottish gun and ammunition factory when guns and ammunition were first being brought into existence. But you might be thinking, why? Why here? Why here? In current day Tweed Bank? Well, I have a theory for that as well. And we need to travel a couple of miles up the road to another site. Ah. 
That's why we don't need to look back into history at all. We do still advertise it as gun now rock. This is Cadden Lee, where the small river Cadden meets the major river Tweed. And what I'm about to tell you is documented historical fact. Because Cadden Lee, ever since the Battle of Caram in 1018, has been the officially, officially documented muster and meeting point for Scottish armies as they were about to invade England. It was an extremely convenient place for all the armies from different areas of Scotland to meet. From the west, down the Clyde and Tweed Valleys to here, from the east down the Gala Water Valley to here, and from the north, probably also from that route. But they all met here, tens of thousands of men sometimes. It wasn't just the really ancient battles like the Battle of Carrum where the Scots armies were meeting here. Right through the Scottish Wars of Independence, Robert the Bruce's armies, William Wallace's men, John Balliol's men, met here. But also more modern times. The Battle of Flodden, for example, when James IV's men mustered here before their movement down to Flodden. Now Flodden, as we know, well, if you don't know, I'm telling you now, it was the first real battle to be fought in British soil that used guns and artillery. It was the gun factory at Tweed Bank constructed there to feed this muster point of the Scottish armies. I think it's likely. Just imagine William Wallace himself standing on these banks, looking at his massed army and getting ready for battle. Men, prepare to fight. We move at dawn and strike the English at their heart. We need our freedom, but then we'll get theirs. So there you go, Cadden Lee, the officially recognised muster point of the Scottish army through centuries of warfare against England. It's documented in loads and loads of battles, Google it and you'll, you'll find it. But what I'm questioning here today is was the munitions and gun factory at Tweed Bank, gun now, 
built to service this place and the Scottish soldiers who met here so often. I don't think it's too much of a flight of fancy if you decide 